New coronavirus cases were reported across the country in the last week. And that is the equivalent of 112 Americans testing positive every minute. The U.S. breaking all-time daily records for tests, cases, and hospitalizations. ABC's Trevor Alt is at a New York City testing site with the latest. Trevor, good morning. Well, good morning. Wait, you know, at some of these testing facilities, we're seeing the lines form hours before they even open as nationwide. The number of new infections is simply staggering. Now, 72 percent of the country say they know someone who's tested positive for coronavirus and a quarter of Americans say they know someone who has died. This morning, the United States smothered by rampant COVID-19 spread as testing lines grow across the country with some waiting hours. The seven day average for national cases has doubled since November 1st. The virus has claimed more than 250,000 American lives. You could be the strongest person out there, but it will still take you down. This week, Catherine Pennington was laid to rest in Alabama, leaving behind her 10 children who passed away moments after their final phone call. She said, I would not wish this on my worst enemy if I had one. And nationwide, more than 80,000 patients are in the hospital fighting to avoid that same fate. But hospitalizations are rising in every single state, 12 of them hitting record highs Friday alone. Well, I'm seeing individuals in their 30s, 40s, and 50s, um, and that shift to younger individuals, including individuals that require um, intensive care for COVID-19 at a young age is very worrisome. That's especially a concern in the Midwest, with Ohio setting a new record high of 8,800 cases Friday. Hospital workers warned they don't have the staffing to meet this incredible demand. We can always get more drugs. We can always get more machines. Um, we can't get a hold of we can't just make more people in texas el paso will continue relying on inmates to help transport bodies as the national guard is standing down the city's mayor citing spread inside still open businesses as a major source of their surge we found out that 55.11 uh, percent of our postage were coming from uh, retail shopping. Now more communities are enacting strict measures. Newark, New Jersey rolling out a 10 day stay at home order ahead of Thanksgiving as across the country doctors fear holiday spread, particularly from college students heading home. This is about younger people who may have no symptoms at all that are coming back from a wonderful college experience but are contagious and don't know it. Sitting next to three or four generations older next to them all day long. That is a potentially deadly recipe. But even if this virus doesn't kill you, it can still do irreparable damage. Indiana nurse Carrie Wegg needed a double lung transplant to survive, and with mounting medical bills, she still hasn't seen her children since July. It's been so hard because I was healthy, and I thought if I ever got it, I would be fine. And with more medical workers becoming infected, the situation inside hospitals is growing more dire by the day. Nationwide, more than one in five hospitals, 22%, say this week they are expecting critical staffing shortages. Dan? We need to protect our medical workers. Trevor, thank you so much. That's all for today, and remember to subscribe to our channel, like and share it with your friends. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.